Now let's have a look at the discussion board. So you're going to click on discussion at the top, and that will bring you to this list of topics. And you'll see here you have opportunities to share your learning in Ontario, and here's a list of conferences. If you have a website, you can list your website here and see other people's lists of websites. If you have a question about your project, you can ask it there. And then probably most useful is down here, this subject discussion. So your project will fall under one or two topics. Uh, and here we've set it up so that you can talk to people who have similar interests or are working on similar projects. So by clicking on one of these, it'll take you to the messages. We'll go with technology. And now we can see here all of the messages um, that have been posted to this discussion board. So if we click on this message to see what was written, you'll notice the bottom half of the page is where the message is displayed. This gray bar lets you manage or maneuver how big you want the bottom pane and the top pane to be. So you can leave it where you want. Down here you have the message. You can see attachments, the message itself, you can see in here somebody has added a link to an external site. And now if you wanted to reply to that message, you hit on reply. And you'll notice down here in the section, it's very similar to the blog. So you have a lot of the same buttons, a lot of the same features. And now if you wanted to type, this is where you would type in your response. And some other neat things that you can do is you can add a file to this response. You can also record audio, so if you wanted to make a, a comment, you could do it. When you're done, you click on Post.